Okay, so this is a Ford uh, F-150. It's a 2012 model. I uh, wanted to uh, install a bike carrying rack in the back of my wife's truck. Uh, she did not want me to drill any holes into the truck, so I had to come up with an idea. So I uh, got some angle iron and uh, with some help from my brother-in-law, we welded up this uh, bike frame or bike rack, I guess, and uh, installed it in the back of the truck. And you can see that it's holding both of the bikes by the front forks. And there's plenty of room in the back to add coolers, camping equipment, whatever we need. So that's still a lot of space available. And uh, basically, went online and got a couple fork mounts and I can show you where we actually installed the, the bike frame uh, using the factory tie downs on either side and there's the tie down on that side you can see I welded the uh, angle iron straight to that, came up, had it lean forward, and it comes right across the back of the bed. And we probably should have butt welded, but uh, actually I didn't have a long enough piece, so we lapped it to give it a little bit more strength. And you can see the uh, dirt bag fork mounts. I went ahead and installed those. I use stainless steel hardware, and that way we shouldn't have any problem with rust or corrosion. And did the same thing on uh, this side here. So, seems to be pretty good so far. We're going to take it out today, uh, head out to one of the local state parks, and go for a ride, and uh, see how well she actually holds up and uh, we have plenty of room in the back now I have the clearance so there's room between the tires and uh, the bed now I'm a little concerned with the frame itself it, it does shake uh, I don't know if that's going to create a problem or not I'll have to watch it and see if it breaks the weld the thing I'm afraid is maybe if the weld breaks, uh, may send the forks through the back window. That probably isn't going to be a very good thing to have happen, so I'll keep an eye on it. If it starts wobbling a lot or if it breaks the weld, I can put a brace in the center with uh, some type of a rubber stop so that it will actually sit between the truck bed and the frame and uh, hold it in place, keep it a little bit more stable. And one more thing I wanted to show you too, I forgot was where I put the mounts, you can see the tire fits right in between the ridge there on both of them. So that should help keep the back end from bouncing around. So kind of nestled in that little ridge. So I think, uh, I think it'll be a pretty good idea. We'll just have to wait and see how it works out. So, alrighty, very good. One more quick shot. Homemade bike mount, and it's attached to the uh, factory cargo tie downs. It can be easily removed. Um, it doesn't take up any space in the bed, so whenever the bikes are not here, the frame can actually sit there and. Uh, should be out of the way of anything that you want to put in the truck. So that's it. I hope uh, this kind of gave you an idea if you're trying to come up with a way to mount some bicycles in the back of your pickup truck. And we're going to go take a ride and see how it works out.